what is o data so you must have heard that acronym o data means uh, open data protocol so if you really want to understand o data then you need to break these three words that is protocol data and open so what is protocol so it's a simple english word right so protocol is a set of rules which every player has to follow then what is data so data i think you all know so it's a collection of informations and what about open open means anyone can come in and anyone can go that means it is an open standard that can be consumed by any application program software or device of any sap or non sap world so what they need to do they just need to use the http protocol so if some uh, applications can use the http protocol then they can consume the o data service so uh, since the protocol is http so any programming language with http stack can be used for consuming o data services so uh, in other simpler world what we can say that um, o data is a web protocol uh, which is used for unlocking and sharing data and freeing it from the silos that existed in some some software and applications so with o data uh, any whether it's sap or non sap they can talk to each other and they can share information okay then what is sap netweaver gateway so sap netweaver gateway is a door or the window uh, for for the external world to enter into sap so if if an external system which is a non sap system wants to talk to sap then they have to pass through this sap netweaver gateway so if you work it, uh, define it in more technological term then sap netweaver gateway is a technology that seamlessly connects devices platforms and environments from non sap system to sap system using o data services so this um, figure will make our o data and sap netweaver concept clear so this is called a client server architecture if you see on the right hand side this is the uh, sap or non sap outer world and the left hand side which is called the producer this is the sap world so sap or non sap system can connect through internet with another sap system so for simplicity let's say that the right hand side which is the consumer of o data is a non sap system and left hand side which is the producer of o data is a sap system so what happens is the outer world will send a request in the form of http through the internet so that request comes to sap how do they enter they enter through this blue wall so what is this blue wall this is the sap netweaver gateway so if they have to enter to sap then they have to pass through this door or a window which is called sap netweaver gateway and then sap in internally understands what that http request has and then it processes the data and then sends the response back in the form of o data services to the outer world and that o data services goes through the internet and the beauty of this architecture is that the developments of the client and the server can be done independently and um, the client does not take part in any data storage or any data manipulation and only the server does that part and the server has a restriction that it has no action in the data presentation so it doesn't uh, define how the data should look when it act actually shows up to the users and this is one of the very important uh, uh, feature which we will uh, be needed which will be needed in the restful architecture so uh, we'll come to restful architecture in the subsequent slides